Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, I would like to um, reflect on one, one element uh, that I would uh, view as very important that's uh, relatively rarely discussed. Um, I think there's no doubt anymore that uh, renewables do have the potential to become the leading technologies in the energy sector in the future. We've just heard it again. Um, the potential is there. Um, nobody really questions this anymore. However, that does not mean that it will really come. What we are currently starting is a transition. Transition, in Germany we might already be one or two steps ahead. India is now really quickly entering into this process of the transition. And transitions are painful, really, really painful and difficult. I will give you three examples what that means. Because what we found in Germany that one of the most important ingredients of such a transition like we're currently in is the mindset of people. The mindset of the people is something which is very, very difficult to plan for. And let me give you these three examples how this looks like. One is a, an example um, where I hope that India will never repeat it, and that's the example how the German, big German utilities dealt with this situation. You might be aware that Germany was, um, in the year 2000, there were four big utilities in Germany holding a share of roughly 85% of the German energy mix, the electricity sector. None of those four, or I put it the other way around, those four hold in total, all four of those in total held a share of 7% um, of the renewable that is installed in Germany right now. The rest is held by others, foreign investors, by people, by project developers, etc. Et These big four utilities, one which is actually uh, Swedish owned, is right now pulling out of Germany. Another one um, was reduced to the size of a middle sized company. The third one, E.ON, one of the biggest international utilities, you might have heard about it, was basically split into two companies. One to focus on renewables and the grid, and the other one to slowly phase out the conventional fossil and nuclear resources. And the fourth one, RWE, which is one of the oldest and biggest German companies, more than 120 years old, is currently struggling to survive. That doesn't mean that the German system now collapses. It's just been taken over by others. But these four utilities basically missed the train. And that's something to do with the mindset of the people because they were just ignoring what was happening in the market. They were ignoring the potential of renewables and they were basically now um, overtaken by others. When I was at university, I studied economic history. Economic history is full of these examples where People, companies and countries just missed the train because the mindset of the people was not flexible enough. i give you another one, another example, where, which is a more positive one. You know that in Germany we have sometimes pretty high shares of reno uh, renewables in the system. Two days ago I gave this example that uh, we had 79% a, a of renewables in Germany just four weeks ago, which means that in some regions, some of the distribution grids, you come close to 100% and even beyond, go beyond this. So if you go to the distribution system operators and ask them, well, that's impressive. How do you do this? You have a share of almost 100% wind in your system. So how did you cope with that? What did you do in the last 15 years to, to handle this situation? Well, they will shrug their shoulders and said, well, actually, we didn't do much. We just continued. But our people learned. Our people learned how to deal with this. Their job got a bit more stressful now on those days where you really have to handle this. It's, that's a pretty stressful job now being a system operator with 100% wind. But the systems don't collapse. It's about the skills of the people. They develop the skills of the people. It, it was not so much about technology. It was really the people who learned how to handle this. Those people and those system operators, the mindset was pretty flexible because they really managed, managed incredible challenges. My third example is more a bit future looking. Um, solar PV. In Germany you can now walk into supermarkets, take solar PV out of the shelves, pay, go home, put it on your balcony, plug it in and then you just produce electricity. It only, it's only starting now and that's still not that every German goes to the supermarket and buys PV. But just imagine in 10 years from now and imagine a country where there's, the sun is shining 
So I'm not talking about Germany now, but talking about other countries. Germany has the sun like Alaska. But just think about in 10 years, PV is even cheaper and it will be sold as a consumer product in supermarkets. Just try to think about the effect that has on the power system. It is disruptive. And this disruptive effect has not yet been understood nowhere in the world, and not even in Germany, where we have, as you know, uh, more PV capacity in store than anywhere else in the world. So that's something to think about. And India is now rapidly starting to, into, this, into this transition. And I think the mindset of the people is one of the key elements. I don't, probably don't have to tell people here in the room, but that's what is a key ingredient in order to achieve this transition and to bring this transition to a successful end. Thank you very much.